We're in second overtime, 13 seconds left. Real Madrid is down by two. They get the rebound there, push it down the floor, six seconds, five seconds, nothing doing. Number 11's got it, fakes the shot, dribbles in, hook shot, tie game, buzzer beater. He can't believe it. The crowd is bowing down to him. What just happened? Look at that. I mean, that is pretty and just in time, and it's something you missed that you never planned on watching. And this is everything you missed that you never planned on watching. It's brought to you by DraftKings. Had ourselves a wild one in college wrestling. AJ Ferrari and Zach Glazier going down to the wire, tied up at two with five seconds to go in overtime, and Ferrari gets his man, gets three points, wins, as he stands up, pushes his head down, says, take that, fool. Apparently, these guys are going to be future teammates at Iowa next year, but no one fully knows. And then the referee gets in the middle of them, and Ferrari throws like an open-handed slap, misses, but hits the ref in the face, and then flips him the bird and says, F you. Look at the replay here. I mean, just a swing, misses, but he did get the ref, and the ref's ears, they shake pretty good. Got a lot of shake on them ears, ref. Did he know that? I don't know. Anyway, now they get together, and he's blowing kisses to the crowd. You love me. You love me. I'm great. You love me. They're like, chill out. Wait around. There's a decision to be made. Something's going to happen. Ref, he says, uh, he's disqualified because he punched me. If, what? What? What is this dude talking about? I didn't punch nobody. So then the other dude... They shake hands, and and I, I was watching this a bunch. What's this little, like, extra? It must not have been a good grip. They go to re-grip. A little weird. It didn't seem like good to me of a handshake. Not hostile, but anyway, yeah, so that dude wins, and Ferrari's like, whatever, dude. Like, everyone knows I won. Blows kisses to the crowd. Whatever, I won. Oh, F you? He can't make up his mind. Is he blowing kisses to the crowd, or is he flipping them off? He thought he was going to get love. He got hates. F you, guys. Screw this. And then he's going to go into splits, double middle finger, ugly face, splits. Uh, that's gross. No one enjoys looking at that. But he's like, whatever, dog. See ya. See ya. Kiss, kiss. And then takes the singlet off. And you guys missed that. You didn't plan on watching it. You missed it altogether. Let's go to the second game ever played in the Professional Women's Hockey League. The first one between Ottawa and Montreal. And we are down by one and then tied up. Five minutes, 30 seconds to go. And that is uh, a feel-bad goal. I'll call that a feel-bad goal. But Montreal does tie it up. Everyone's like, what just happened? And it was actually intended to be a pass to the center off the defender's stick and into the net to tie the game with five minutes to go. That stinks. Not for those fans. They're excited. Anyway, we go into overtime, and Seven just takes a shot, ends up dumping the puck, and then crashes the boards to keep it in. And then 43 comes into play. And 43's forecheck here is awesome. She makes this whole play. She ends up not getting a point on it. Stops her there. Trails her around. Stops her again. Gets the loose puck. Twer look at the look at the skating to get around her. Beats her around her. All right, grabs it. Puts the brakes on. Spins. Takes her to the center. Drops it behind for the opening look there. I love that move. And then this one doesn't want to shoot because they're a defender there. So look at, is it 42 actually? Now she's got two, 43, she's got two red defenders on her, and she's going to cross in front of the goalie and bring both of them with her, which opens up this shot and just a lot of traffic for the goalie and allows them to score. So 43 doesn't get a point on this play, but she made the whole damn thing happen. The four check's awesome. The drop pass there is good. She thought she was going to have a shot. She continues to crash thinking she's going to get a rebound chance. She doesn't get the rebound chance, drags them in front of the goalie, and scores. And Montreal wins in overtime, the second-ever professional women's hockey league game. 8,000 fans in the crowd, so a pretty good turnout for first ever. And uh, they took a nice picture at the end, both teams, and good stuff. You missed that. And you forgot that this episode is brought to you by DraftKings, and you can download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now. And new customers use promo code MIST 
Bet just $5 on any wager and get 200 in bonus bets instantly. That's promo code MISSED only at DraftKings Sportsbook. You guys definitely missed this. It's Kabaddi. It's a very bizarre sport. Let's open our brains. Let's not be confused on purpose, Americans. I'll never understand this. Oh, well, you can. You just got to think. It's not a foreign language. It's just a game. It's kind of like... Um, tag but you have to raid so right now the pirates are are up by five against the bulls and you can see the little people on the bottom the pirates have four players left the bulls have five so the pirates are sending a raider he has 30 seconds to go into the other team's zone he has to touch one of them and then get back to his side every guy that he touches and then if he gets back safely that guy's out and he gets a point for each person he touches if they capture him and he never makes it back he's out and the red team gets it. So they act in a chain, which the defense is cool because they act in a chain. He tries to touch him there. He misses. And then they're like, let's just get him. And they get him, and he's out. So now the Pirates, even though they're up 33-29, to 29, they only have three guys left in this round. And the Bulls guy is going in. Oh, he missed him there. He was checking on him, thinking he was going to fall. And then he just bulldozes past that dude, gets over, and he says, I touched the other guy too. I touched two of them. That would be huge. He's like, you didn't touch me. Oh, show him where you touched me. You didn't touch me. And he says, hold up, hold up. We're going to talk about this. And the crowd's like, oh, my God, this would be huge if he touched him. And he's saying, obviously, he touches number two. He tried to tackle him. He's saying he gets 99 on the leg right there, right there. And we don't have great replay of it, but does his hand bounce a little after growing past the leg? Maybe right away. He's like, I touched him. The referees say, yep. He did touch him. So now the Bulls are down only two, but the Pirates only have one dude left, number 14, and he's got to raid and get in there and get out. There's there's 30 seconds left in the game, 10 seconds, nine left in this raid, eight left in this raid, seven left in this raid, and they get him. He doesn't make it back, which is huge. Seems like bad court awareness because now that's one point for the Bulls and Three extra points because it's an all-out. If you get all of their guys, you get three points for getting them all out, which means the Bulls just took the lead. I don't understand what 14 was doing. He should just waste all the time then left. Anyway, that's Kabaddi. It's really fun to watch. It's bizarre. It's unlike anything else. You can figure it out. It's on every morning, 9 o'clock or 10 o'clock East Coast time on ESPN+. Plus. It's a blast to put in the background and watch. Next up, we have women's basketball, and this is a bizarre scene. Two-point game, 10 seconds left. The inbound... Just out of bounds. Just a turnover. The coach is like, she tipped it. Can you look at it? That's what's up. Good shit. Out of bounds. They just threw it out of bounds. I don't think that, I don't think she tipped it. So just out of bounds. Now they get the ball and they can score. No, they just throw it out of bounds too. So they just say, nah, we'll match your out of bounds with our out of bounds. So now they're down two. There's 10 seconds left. We've had two out of bounds. No time off the clock. Layup. No, a pass. I thought it was going to be a layup. It was a pass. They score. And look at number three. She's celebrating. She puts the bucket in. And then she's like, oh, I'll take that. I'll take that. Throws it up off the glass and in to win. What a wild scene between Georgia Southern and UL Monroe. Hey, even the baby's enjoying it. No, that baby's crying, but it's loud. You know, if it knew what was going on, it would like it. What a finish. The steal, the heave. She had a couple more seconds left to get closer. Didn't need them. Nine seconds left. What happens? They throw it down. Miracle win. Nothing. Nope. Nothing. All right. Well, that's everything you missed that you never plan on watching. If you enjoy this segment and you find yourself watching a lot, you can subscribe to the channel, hit the notification, leave a comment, like it, all of that stuff. It helps us out a ton. And fan of the weeks, if we got them, make your choice. Unfreeze.